Hey, I'm in a cave. Today I'm catching some brown trout using my favorite trout lure, the HD Trout, made by Dynamic Lures, which is a brand out of Colorado. They're super versatile, and I'll show you how I do it. They're really effective. Uh, Dynamic Lures sponsor me, man. Come on. <laughs> so right, I'm at the river. See if we can get on an early morning fall bite. Flows are up. I haven't had that much luck at this stretch of the river. I know they're a big fish, but I've only caught a little, a few little small ones. I'm gonna try this brown trout, J spec. I got one, I got one, I got a fish already. That's a nice one. Right as I said, I haven't had much luck here. Jeez. Oh, he came off right there. Fudge. So close. Oh. Let's see if we can get another one. Got one. Got him. Got him. This one's coming in. You're coming with me. Oh, it's not a big one. But I got a fish. There we go, grab him in the net. A little brownie on the brown trout, J-Spec. All right, a little brownie. There you go. Got him back. All right, haven't had another bite, so I'm not gonna waste too much time. I'm gonna keep going down the road to another spot. All right, walking up to spot number two. Ooh, looks juicy. See if we can get one in this calm, deep hole. Going, caught him, right there. Right there at the short, not a big one. Right there in front of me. <laughs> All right. First cast at the spot, it's not a big brown, but he ate right there in that calm water. It's only pretty shallow there. There he goes. There you go, buddy. <laughs> All right. Hey, buddy. Hi, cutie. How are you? Oh my gosh. Hey, buddy. You're really nice. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's chewing on my shirt. Oh, hey buddy. Oh, I love donkeys. You're so cute, buddy. You got big ears, huh? <laughs> you got big ears. Oh, are you gonna chew on me? <laughs> Look at that mouth, you're so cute, buddy. <laughs> Oh, all right, new spot. Let's see how we do. Got one, got him. Decent little fish. Right in the calm pocket where it looked like they would be. Got him. Decent little fish, another little 12, 13 inches for today. There you go. Oh, almost. Got one, got him. Nice one, nice fish. Man, what a fighter. Got, no, get around this rock. Come on, come on. Right under that shelf. I got him tangled up a little bit. Yeah, a little bit, not too bad. I thought he was bigger than he is. All right, another little brownie. All kind of cookie cutter. There he goes. Right onto that rock ledge. Beautiful morning. It's November 2nd. Phew. All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh, got him, got him, nice fish. A little medium one, actually. But a fish is a fish, am I right? And a little brown. 
little brown. Very pretty, but small. There you go. So this is the HD trout jerk bait made by Dynamic Lures. Um, it's like my favorite trout lure pretty much uh, for streams. And you can fish it a couple ways. You could just straight retrieve it like a crankbait, um, or you could do kind of like a jerk bait thing, jerk paws. Um, crankbait thing works well sometimes. I find when like the water's warmer, um, but a lot of times to trigger a reaction, I like to use the um, jerk function. Wow, look, there's a big beaver underwater right there. I don't know if you can see that, he's huge. Um, so anyways, I'll show you how I use it. I'm gonna do the jerks, jerk today. Let's cast it in. If the water's pretty deep, you can wait and let it sink, but I usually just start doing little jerks, do a cadence where I'm going one, one, two, kind of back and forth. Oh, big beaver in the water there. If the water's really cold, I do pauses more often. There's one right there. Got him. See, I was kind of waiting there. The water just warmed up. Nice little brown. That's how, I, there he goes. That's how I like to use it. I prefer the jerk method. Um, also, it helps me when I'm in um, deeper holes or like when the water's colder, the fish tend to stay in a small little pocket. So I do the jerk pause so I can keep it in that same pocket and not move it around too much keep it in that desired area so you got, i'm gonna go in that deep little pocket do a little jerk do one do one two give him something that looks really natural like a thing escaping that's kind of frantic sometimes you can get away with doing pretty fast jerks let's try up here in this little pocket and it only sinks about a foot or two Unless you wait and then it sinks deeper. There is a nice fish right there. Oh, oh, oh man. It's a good bite. <laughs> so I'm using the gold one because uh, it's sunny and this reflects really well. There's a fish right there. That might have been the one that bit. He's escaping. <laughs> Being kind of erratic with my jerking. And on the pause, I reel in a little bit of slack. You know, typical jerkbait fishing, like bass fishing. These jerkbaits work year round. Um, just in the winter, you just got to slow it down. I slow it down a bunch, and really target the pocket water and go on a day where the pressure is low and you think you can get an aggressive strike. See, I got those fish to come out of the bank just by casting right next to it. So that's the thing with these lures. It's, it's like bass fishing. It's pretty technical um, where to place your cast, especially when the water is colder. Like you're limited to the little pockets and you know, get them out of the cut banks like this. 80% of the time I do the jerk paws. That's just a, a lot of people like to do the reel. I don't know. It's just what works for me. So it feels good. These trout are really aggressive and they want, boom, they want to just whack it real quick. All right, I'm gonna take my quick mid-morning break. Hang out in this little cave. Ooh, cave, all right. <laughs> That brown chased me out of the slack water there. Seems like he gave up after he chased it for a while though. I don't know if he's coming back. Oh, he's coming for it. Eat it. He's fight at it again. He's coming for it. Eat it. Eat it. Got him. Oh my God. That was crazy. He's like right here. All right, we're approaching another new spot. And it reminds me that the thing about these lures um, when you're lure fishing for trout is you got to spot hop more. You really got to cover water and be willing to hike. And you're looking for the aggressive fish, just like streamer fishing. You're looking for the fish that are striking something instead of just coming up for a small little fly that they don't have to expend too much energy for. They're hunting this thing down. So you can't just fish in one spot. Once you've gotten bites and um, flashes and maybe hooked a fish or spooked some y you should move spots pretty quick or at least come back later or try a different color but I cover a lot of water um, which is nice because it's actually pretty good exercise in the summer I'd be fishing a lot more in that in those ripples and right now they're they're in the 
pocket water. It's about 11 and the bite has died down considerably. Let's see if we can still get one or two. There's one nice fish, big fish. Oh man, that's a nice fish for here. Oh, probably a 14 maybe. Oh boy. Right as I said, the bite died down. Oh man, that's a nice fish. That's a really nice fish. Come on. Got him. That's a solid 14 right there. That's a fat one. Maybe even a 15. Beautiful brown. Wow. All right, best fish of the day so far. Nice 14 inch brown. There he goes. Whew. That fish came right from this pocket in between these two rocks, which it's not that deep. It's pretty calm. It's not very big, but there's usually a fish that's gonna be hiding there, especially in the fall. So, boom, there it was. And that's why you do the jerk pause, because when you get it in there, keep your line above the current so it doesn't get stuck in that really heavy current. And then do little jerks, but try not to move very far just keep it in that pocket if you can get to the very edge of that pocket like on the bank and then get in like three or four jerks in that pocket before your lure starts sweeping downstream then you got a pretty good chance of getting a fish oh i'm getting a chase nice one I got him, got him. Oh, man. I saw an even bigger one in that hole. There's a big fish in there. 